Hello everyone, today I'm very excited to give you a first impression on what I've been working on for the last couple of months. It's a customizable library app called Kiosk for 3D artists to make local resources as accessible as possible. Despite having hard drives full of HDRIs, assets, textures and other resources, we lean towards popular online libraries for their accessible search, filter, file previewing and DCC integration. The Windows Explorer simply doesn't do a great job for previewing our common file formats like HDR, FBX, OBJ. Kiosk is here to bring these functionalities to your local resources. So let's take a look at the current state of development. First, let's take a look on how it works. On the very top left, we have a bunch of categories. These are customizable. Each category holds a bunch of sources. Here we can filter through the sources. On, for example, our lights category, we do not have any sources specified yet. So let's do that. Let's go to App Manage Content and under our Lights tab, we can simply add a directory. I want to add the Photo Studio lights and simply call it Softboxes. I want to look for HDRIs. Now let's press Save. And you can see that all the HDRIs have been found and added to the category. You can see that Kiosk is generating thumbnails in the background. Let's press refresh and see that our thumbnails are now being generated. And this is how you add a source to your category. In order to edit categories, you can simply add them here or right click and adjust them. Kiosk will also detect PBR texture sets. It will let you use file formats for filtering, subfolders, tags or resolution, detect sequences and also have a favorite system. Now, for example, you can search uh, for metal and it will list you all the metals you have in your texture category. You can quickly scroll through all the PBR textures. And let's say, for example, we have a blue painted metal with a bunch of channels. So let's simply add it. And as you can see, when we go to Maya, it is added to Maya. And the same works for, let's say, assets. Let's add an apple, for example. Now the apple is being imported to Maya. So each category, no, Maya knows what it has to do with the file. So if you go to manage plugins, you can see that you can assign a custom command to each of these categories. You can also customize this and write your own commands. Here, for example, we can also say kiosk import and assign material if we have created our own material category. Here are a few cool other examples on how to use kiosk. For example, for my HDRI, if you press export, it will automatically create a dome light for you and plugs the HDRI inside. And since each command is customizable, if a dome light is selected, I added that it will simply change the texture. Now, each file also have a right click, context menu. You can open files, stand them, reveal them in Explorer, copy them or paste thumbnails. And also, each file in here behaves like a normal file in the Explorer. You can simply drag and drop them like you would from your Explorer and they are added to Maya. Now, there's also um, every image file gets a thumbnail generated automatically in the background. But FBX and OBJs, that's not possible. So in order to make it quickly and easy, let's say for the nectarine, we do not have a thumbnail yet. So let's simply right click, copy our thumbnail, hover over it and press Ctrl V. And this will paste the thumbnail in here. You can also right click thumbnail and choose thumbnail. This is how easy it is to add thumbnails to Kiosk. Well, that's it with the first impression video of Kiosk. Thank you so much for staying to the end and uh, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I for myself have been looking for something like this for local resources quite a long time and I thought let's get onto it. And it's also a quite big project for myself. This is why I'm quite um, 
nervous introducing it to the world right now. Um, it has been a constant development for, I think, four months now just to get to this point. And I'm really looking forward for your feedback, your input. And uh, I hope to get some of you guys into the closed beta. I will start soon. Uh, just to, if you want to get your hands on it first, uh, play around with it and in return give me some feedback. That would be very, very helpful. And um, yeah, thank you guys for listening as always. And uh, see you guys uh, when something new pops up like website or, or closed beta. See you.